now call to order a special council meeting of the Council of the Town of St. Andrews on Monday, March 29th, 2021 at 6 p.m. Recording of attendance, I note that all members of council are in attendance with the exception of <coughs> Councillor Bishop, who was unable to be with us this evening. Also in attendance are uh, Chief Administrative Officer and Treasurer Chris Spear, our Clerk and uh, Senior Administrator Paul Knopper, and Mr. Alex uh, Gopin, who is our planner with the Southwest Regional Service Commission. Uh, welcome to everyone who is also watching us online. Uh, I will now look for a motion to approve the agenda as written. Somebody move that motion. I so move. Okay, thank you, Councilor Akaji. And a seconder? A second. Yeah, thank you, Councilor Michelle. Uh, all in favor of approving the agenda, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Hearing none, the agenda is approved. I will now turn to conflict disclosure of conflict of interest. Hearing none, we move on and we will go directly to the introduction, consideration and passing of bylaws and motions. And uh, the purpose of this particular special meeting is to conduct a council workshop on short term rental bylaw uh, for some of the changes that have been made already in response to uh, public input. Uh, Mr. Knopper, can I turn that over to you to introduce fur further? Your, your worship. Yes. I know it's not uh, a normal process, but I was wondering uh, if I could move to table the workshop and if I could have a seconder, I would explain uh, why I would like that to happen. Uh, that's a bit unusual at a short notice, uh, Deputy Mayor, but I'll allow that. So go ahead. Uh, I, okay. Um, so your worship, the reason why uh, I'm doing that is all of us have been doing our homework uh, in anticipation for tonight's uh, meeting. Uh, and it's been definitely a, a long road. And when this all started, um, you know, there was a couple of things that we acknowledged that we were trying not to penalize uh, the owner of short term rentals that is using it in their home to uh, subsidize the high cost of living. Uh, perhaps maybe for them it's a hobby in order to meet new people. There's a lot of different reasons why someone might want a short-term rental in their own home, as well as there's a number of people in our community that are vital to our, our economy that have summer homes here, vacation homes, and with the double taxation that's imposed in New Brunswick and the rising costs of taxes, heat, and everything, it's a way in which they can continue to justify to own a short-term rental in our community. So with that being said, um, and that in mind, uh, like everybody here, uh, uh, we've all been uh, in good faith working towards finding uh, a short-term rental uh, bylaw that will work for the town of St. Andrews, one in which um, it, it's effective uh, and has a purpose with the town, but also one that doesn't penalize uh, short-term uh, rental uh, owners. And although we've been all working in good faith and trying to get there, the reality is, in my mind, is we have just run out of time. And the reason I say that is whether you're for or against this bylaw, it, to me, it, it doesn't really matter. The reality is, is when we started this document, went to first reading, uh, the document looked a lot different than what it has in second reading and now what it even looks in third reading. So after we've had the hearing of objections, we've changed this document twice. And uh, even uh, in the last week, we received a letter from a number of short-term rental owners that co-signed it. And they had a number of suggestions in there that, that you know I wasn't a fan of, but they had a lot of suggestions in there that were actually good changes that makes this bylaw better. Um, but again, no matter what your position is on this particular bylaw, we're about to do a workshop and take this to third reading potentially next week. The public has had absolutely no input uh, and no opportunity to see whatever we're working on today prior to us voting on this. And one thing that this council has done an incredible job at is every single bylaw that we've implemented, even the ones we do not have to have a, a hearing of objections on, this council made a conscious decision to do that. And we can honestly say that no matter if you're for or against certain bylaws, we've been extremely transparent uh, throughout the process. But 
by uh, one of the short-term rental owners asked me, it, you know, after this workshop, are we going to get a chance to see the short-term rental bylaw before third reading? And I don't think the answer to that was yes. I, I really don't think that we released the document prior to the reading. I, maybe we can, but the whole point is a week before we're having a workshop to change a bylaw on the way out the door for the community. Um, it's important to note that this bylaw would not take into effect this summer at all anyway. I believe it was a September 1st uh, implementation date. So the reality is, is if we implement this bylaw or not, it's not going to change a single thing for the busy summer of St. Andrews for the short-term rentals. All we're doing is reading a bylaw out the door when we could have spend more time on improving it. So what I'm proposing, it doesn't take the staff uh, work out of, of everything they've done. There is a foundation here of a bylaw for the next council, should they decide that they want to pursue this opportunity. There is mechanisms for us currently in place to actually measure the growth of short-term rentals. It's called the tourism accommodation levy. All of them have to register with us. We can see the growth. We don't need this bylaw to see the growth. We can already, uh, we can already see it. Um, the next council may not want to use the restriction. They may want to use growth. We don't know. So I think that it's important for us to, to leave it up to them to decide what to do. Uh, and then, um, so yeah, where I'm going with this one is um, I think that we should just table the workshop, admit that we ran out of time, and then in committee meeting discuss if we want to table the motion or take it to third reading, in my mind, to possibly defeat it. And that is my pitch. So I'm looking for uh, other councillors to also table this so we can stop working on this and have a more transparent process. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. So your motion is that we table? We, we table this meeting, yes. Okay. Your Worship, Councillor. Your Worship, uh, I have a comment yeah. on this? Councilor Gu, Michelle? Gru, sorry. Well, oh, Councilor Gru? Thank you, Worship. Sorry, Councilor. I, I find the statement that was just made very hypocritical, and I find it very offensive. I voted on the zoning bylaw based on the fact that this was going to pass through. The deputy mayor voted in, fa in favor of that as well. And um, I think that this at this stage, if, if we do not pass the short-term rental bylaw, what we're saying to the members of the uh, community is that every uh, dwelling, single family dwelling in the town of St. Andrews can be a short-term rental. And we will run into a problem with grandfathering and there's going to be a number of other issues that are going to come up. We have had more consultation on this bylaw than any other bylaw that I can think of. I know there's one individual that sent in over 35 emails and letters on this. And at some point we have to make decisions as a council. And we've already gone through two readings. We've accommodated the, the people that have, uh, <clears throat> the owners. And I think that uh, we have a very good solid bylaw in front of us right now. And the deputy mayor may not agree with it. He can vote against it when it comes to third reading but to try and suspend it right now at this stage like this, I think it needs to go to third reading. Just, just a point of order, Your Worship, uh, just to clarify, uh, I believe uh, Councillor Gruse said I was hypocritical. It's important to note if we reflect on the minutes that I actually voted against uh, the third reading of the zoning bylaw, so thank you. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Um, we have a motion, we have a seconder. Does anyone else want to speak to this before we vote? Do we have a seconder, Your Worship? I think Councillor Gumichel, Gumichel. Did you? Yes. Councillor Gumichel second that motion to table this meeting. Yep. Thank you, Councillor Gumichel. Does anyone else wish to speak before we vote? Your Worship? Yes. This is a, a special meeting of council. We're not supposed to be making any decisions at this meeting. It was not in the agenda. And to change it now, you need to have consent of the council. Thank you, Councillor Grew. Um, Unanimous consent of the council. Seems to me a motion to table is a motion to table, and then you vote on it. And if uh, yeah, but you it's, it's not table, the agenda, then, uh, it's table. Council, Pardon me, sir. Not in the agenda, Councillor Gumishell. We can end the meeting right now if you like, but it's not in the agenda. An alternate may just be to have a motion to adjourn and yeah. end the meeting. 
exactly. Well, Your Worship? Sure. Yeah, Councilor Grimm, Michelle. Just looking for uh, some direction there. Oh, well, I'm thinking about it because you're right. It wasn't on the agenda. I'm, I'm not much. I'm, I, uh, your Worship, I'm, I'm not quite sure what Councillor Grew is getting at. Uh, a motion to table is never on an agenda. It's just there, 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 there It's was always, no, it's just working with that. I'm not for it, gets it. I'm just saying a uh, motion to table is never part of the agenda. It's you're hoping stuff is going to get okay. put with that night, but it's, 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 it's just an unusual item. I'm not saying for or against it. It's, there's no problem to agenda this particular item, then we can go right to adjournment would be the next thing, but you'd never have a motion to a table on an agenda in advance, the unusual, to say right. the least. But what are we tabling? That's the question is we're, if we're just tabling the discussion for today, then that's, ta that's, an, that's an adjournment because it's the only item on the agenda. Uh, yes. Through, well, through, your, through your worship after we, if we do to table this motion, then after that we would have a motion to adjourn. And if we don't table this uh, if we don't table this motion, then we will have the workshop. Correct. <laughs> and 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 basically, what you're doing is you're you're depriving the public of any input at this meeting. That's all this is doing. Uh, through through your worship, I'm not sure how the public is having input at this meeting. It's us. It's us. The, the, public's not, the public has, public has no say here. Ask questions and provide input. At the end of the meeting. That's correct. That is correct. Look, I've already made my ruling. I will allow the uh, motion to adjourn and I'll call the question. If anyone else wants to speak, do it now, please. Your, your, worship, not, can I get, your worship, can I get clarification? Is this the motion to adjourn or is this the motion based on the tabled motion requested? Motion to table thank you the workshop all in favor of tabling the workshop we signify by saying aye 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 those opposed we say nay nay mr knopper i didn't catch all of those votes <clears throat> Your Worship, I had uh, Councillor Akaji as yay, Councillor Gumashell as yay, Deputy Mayor Henderson as yay. Uh, Councillor Harrison, were you yay or nay? I did not see your... Uh, I voted in favor of tabling. Okay, so Your Worship, you have a four to one for tabling. All right, motion is carried. We will table this matter. And now I will look for a motion to adjourn this meeting reluctantly. So moved. Second. Okay. Are adjourned. We will reconvene at 6 30.